Karma. Read karma. Oh, I can't spell read. Self-destruction, we treat our brothers like slaves. Uh, turn against this madness with the karma. A religion with meaning, with belief, with moral standing, and most of all, a religion with subscription. Oh great, 1995 per month can clear your conscience. Yeah, sure. Yet another greedy religion. I think there's only one left. Chemo clean. Oh, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not interested in chemo clean. Let's have a look at bank net. How much money have we got? List. Bank net. Balance and credit. Okay. Let's read. How much money have we got? Oh, stop spelling read in that stupid retarded way. Oh god. That's not good. Oh dear. We seem to be slightly overdrawn. Newsnet. List. Newsnet. Oh, Newsnet. Financial he- Oh, let's just look at the- Only the headlines. I'm not interested in financial, you know. What does it matter? I haven't got any money to spend anything on anyway. Uh, read. Headlines. Another night of crime and violence. Police Chief Inspector McKay Oh, it's going too fast again. Gave a press call. Oh, it, now it's disappearing. Oh, my God! I can't read that quickly when it's all moving. Okay, something happened that involved the police. That's as per as much as I caught. Oh, was it a robbery? They took valuables and left behind Va them many injured people. Two murder victims in the south of the city. A school teacher was brutally murdered. Seemingly hands of a psychopath. Could be us. Uh, car crime once again hit an all-time high for a single night. Yeah, there was something in in that diary of a madman where they talk about this. There's a serial killer on the loose. The police are after called. Was he called the dealer? In one bit, they, like says it was uh, something to do with playing cards. He uh, he cuts the heart out of one of the victims, and then he stuffs in the heart of the previous victim, and along with the heart, he shoves a card in there. Yep, pretty gruesome. Um, oh, exit now. That's it. I've seen. Uh, I read all the fastly moving. Uh, Headlines. I think I can put the cartridges in here. Let's put that one in. This one that said important. Let's go back once again. Use. If I type list again, will I get something different? Will it come up with cartridge? Yes. List cartridge. Oh, for God's sake, I gotta log in again. Uh, great. Try that again. Private. Oh. Read. Private. Okay, that's all irrelevant since we've been fired. 
Uh, oh, he's chiming in with something there. Lewis's door number. Eden's door number. Um, oh, maybe I should write this stuff down. Bear with me a second. I found an old envelope. I'll write down quickly. Lewis. What's that? Five, two, three, eight. And Eden's is two eight six five. Van can be picked up at any time after fifteen. Estimate about. Oh, we supposed to be buying a van away. Gonna ask Sparky for a loan. Oh well, good luck. Don't think he's in best of terms with you at the moment. Right, exit. Uh, I think there was a room down here. It's probably the bathroom because I haven't seen a bathroom yet. I'd be worried if there wasn't a bathroom. What is it? Cool, he has a jukebox in his bathroom. Use it. Oh, it's an empty ju jukebox. What else have we got here? Have we got an ashtray? No, we can smoke a cigarette while he's on the toilet. Toilet roll. Meh. Oop. Uh, towel. Oop. Basin. Can I have a shower now? Please let me clean myself. You don't need a shower. I'll be the one who decides when I want to clean or not. Uh, nothing else. I think it might be time to leave, let's just think quickly, check the inventory. Yeah, all I really got here, I got, what, that knife, and I got those door numbers, so I can get in and out of people's houses. I think that's going to be it. Let's leave. I wonder where I should go to next. So shall I go to Sparky's and see maybe if he'll let me have some money? Because I can't go there. Uh, or should I go to Lewis's? Nah. Let's go to Sparky's. Let's get me some money. Anything in this bin? Rubbish. And a coca can? No. Drunk man. Hey, drunk man. It's the pouring rain outside Sparky's bar lies a totally unconscious man. He wears a brown suit that is stained and torn from months of sleeping rough. The man is surrounded by empty beer bottles. As I approach, the man doesn't stir. As I approach, the man doesn't stir. Okay. Stare. Hey, um, wake up! Oh. There is still no response from the man whose face rests in a pool of rainwater. Can you hear me? There's still no sign of movement. Perhaps he isn't even alive. 